we um, use aqua first just to clean it out. Right, we need to just, just carefully just take this out. Throw it away. Okay. After that, we go on to the next one. So there is plenty more on here. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you do after you have the seeds here? After that, we. Um, That's it. Actually, pull in. Uh, when we collect all the pollen, mm -hmm. we just put it in here. The pollination samples right here, just to keep them dry. Just to dry them. Mm -hmm. After when we dry them, we put them in these um, tubes in okay. a, in the fridge that we have. I can show you what it looks like. Can I just look at the tube quick? So, this is it right here. This is all the pollen we collected. So right here we have a lot collected. So how many days you can you keep in the fridge? Um, do you know how long we keep it in the fridge, Manuela? They use uh, it every day? Every day, just mm -hmm. the next day? Yeah. Great. So, if you want, we can open it and see what looks like inside. So, it looks okay. pretty, pretty good. Kind of thing. designated boats they have all the crossing numbers and the crossing family um, at that point we then go ahead and take off the tags and we take off the core so that we're not blending those up so in actuality I'm gonna blend this one up just regular magic bullet You just pour it into a beaker. Everything that's blended. Get the remaining seeds out of here and off the top. And then what will happen is all the bad seeds will float up to the top. All the good seeds that we use will float to the bottom. You can see them all on the bottom there. 
Those are all the good seeds that we will use. Well, give it a good stir to make sure it didn't get stuck in the phone and stuff. Usually about maybe 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute to let them settle. is all the good seed that we get. So Angel, how long can you store these seeds after you dry them? After we dry them, we can um, store them maybe up to a year after we dry them. And um, do you store in minus 80 or minus 4? Regular, regular fridge we can put them in, in a um, glass vial. We can store them up in the, in the regular refrigerator. We can store them up up to a year. And how do you dry these seeds once you extract them? Once we extract them, we dry them. They'll dry for maybe two days, um, completely dry out, and then we just put them in the vial. So it's just basically air dry that we use. They'll sit on a, a bench for two days, and they'll be completely dry at that point. And then we put them in a glass vial, put them in the fridge. And do you just take them out and sow when you need to sow them? Yes, we do. We'll take them out. We'll let them settle a little bit um, get a, to get acclimatized in regular temperatures. And then we will um, scarify them and stuff like that with sulfuric acid. How many seeds would you get from one normal grown uh, full-size strawberry? From one normal grown berry, we can get up to 500 to 500 seeds from one berry.